What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're taking a look at a new setup for GeForce Now on the Steam Deck. This comes officially from the GeForce Now team over at NVIDIA and it just makes the install for the browser way to play GeForce Now on the Steam Deck a lot easier to do, it saves you a lot of steps and this will be easier for a lot of people to set up. So let's go ahead and get into it and take a look at this new way to set up GeForce Now on your Steam Deck. So I'll have a link to this in the description as well, but this is their page on how do I install GeForce Now on Steam Deck, and it's basically down to just a couple of steps here. Installing Google Chrome if you haven't already for you, and setting everything up, which we're going to get into in the video. The only thing that they show here is artwork that doesn't really show up for me, but we'll get into that as well. The old method here was a bunch of steps that you had to go through. Something I can do really quickly these days in a few minutes, and I have videos on the channel as well, but this new method is much easier from GFN. Now, if we take a look here, this is my old manual setup that I use all the time on my Steam Deck. This works great for me, and I've used it uh, a lot through Google Chrome with this setup. I do use GFN a ton. I stream a lot at home. I use it to play a lot of games I either can't play on the handhelds or that play better streaming for me on GFN. Now, I'm going to go ahead and remove this, though, and do their official setup. So I'm going to remove this from my library, and then we're going to go ahead and check out the new method here. So that's all gone. No more GeForce Now here. Now we're going to go ahead and do Steam and Power and switch to the desktop mode so that we can download and do the setup. So let's get switched over. Now once we're on the desktop mode, use whatever browser you're, you want to use. You're going to go to the GeForce Now download page, which I'll also put a link in the description to. Come down here to Gaming Handheld Devices, and Steam Deck is now in here. Steam Deck Beta, more specifically. You're going to click Download, and it's going to be super fast and download into your Downloads folder. So I'll close this out. Go over to the Dolphin File Manager here, Downloads, and then we're going to extract this GeForce Now setup file. So I'm going to go ahead, give ourselves a left click on here, Extract All, right here. It'll be really quick, and then we're going to open this GeForce Now setup folder, and you're going to find the setup file. Just open this up to execute. We'll do that. We'll click Execute here. And then we get the little page showing that if you don't have Google Chrome already, it's going to install it and use that. It adjusts so that the controller is going to work in the browser and puts a shortcut in Steam for you. Again, as far as artwork for me, nothing showed up except the icon, and I did that myself, but we'll take a look at that. So we'll click yes here, let it do its thing, and it's going to add this to Steam. So it's going to do this really quickly, then it's going to shut down Steam, restart it, and that's pretty much it. So we'll do the restart here, and then we'll get a little pop-up saying that it is successfully completed. Here we go, NVIDIA G4. Force now is set up and ready to go and start playing. Return to gaming mode, navigate to non-Steam games, and launch GeForce Now. So that's what we're going to do. We'll just get right into it here and go ahead and get back over into gaming mode. And we'll take a look at this setup. Much easier than the old manual way of doing things, that's for sure. So back into game mode, I'll go ahead and go to my library, non-Steam, and here it is. Again, no artwork for me uh, on this, just gray. But anyway, everything is installed here and ready to go. And we'll go ahead and click play and see if it's working the way that my manual setup was working. All zoomed in and proper here. And it is. And it's still logged in, too, because on Google Chrome, I'm already logged in. You may have to do that, and you'll see that up in the top right-hand corner if you do. But, yeah, I'm all logged into my account. You're going to have the same limitations because of browser here, so we can't take advantage of the 90 FPS yet on the OLED deck. I do hope they do some native app or some changes in the browser that do allow us to stream 90 instead of 60 FPS. But you can run higher resolutions here and kind of downsample and look good on the screen if you want to. But I'm just leaving it to 800p for the sake of this video. But yeah, everything installed great and is working just fine for me here on the deck. Now, some other things, controller settings, if you want to set up, you can use the touch screen or the, the uh, D-pad and everything now, which is great. But if you go into the controller settings, gamepad with mouse trackpad and edit the layout, you can go to the trackpads here. I have it behaving as mouse. And then we want to change the the properties that we have in here uh, go back over here to right stick click we want to change this to mouse left mouse click so now we have left mouse click here for our clicking and this will just make it easy to navigate with the touchpad if you want to in here like that and you can do this for any app like if you install a side app like epic or ubisoft or something and you don't have any touchpad support you can do the exact same setup and make that work in there as well but yeah that'll get you going that way so you can use the d-pad or the touch screen or the touchpad for all of your navigation here all right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the artwork. Because again, for me, um, no artwork with this with this install. So everything's kind of grayed out here. I use Decky Loader. You could do all this manually on desktop mode, and I have files in my Discord for that. But 
The easiest thing for me is Steam Grid DB through Decky Loader. Super easy to change artwork on any games or apps or anything you have in here. So I'll hit start on the GeForce Now here. We'll do change artwork. And this will take us right into where we can select all of the artwork we want to for our capsule, wide capsule, hero, logo, icon, and all that. Really love this app. I do use it a lot, especially when I'm sideloading apps or we're setting up browser stuff like this. So I'll go through here, select all the artwork, wide capsule, we'll go to hero. Uh, which will be our banner background, go into logo, and I won't do icon because that was already included. So it was already there uh, in the uh, setup once I had it for whatever reason there. So I go down here and you can see current icon, everything's ready to go. I'll go ahead and back up and you'll see now we have the artwork. For me, it just looks nicer and I like to keep proper artwork in here for GFN. I have a full decky loader setup vid if you need that. I'll put that in the link in the description as well. If you launch a game and you hold down start, you'll get the GeForce Now control menu here with like statistics, quitting the game. If you hit the gear icon up top, you'll get more settings as well. Turn your microphone on and off, all that kind of stuff by holding down start. But yeah, I'd love to use GeForce Now on the Steam Deck and all the other handhelds as well. I've used GeForce Now for uh, well over three years now uh, for all kinds of different stuff on PCs, lower end PCs, handhelds, different devices, phones, all that. And it is definitely my favorite cloud gaming service. And if you have the ultimate tier with the 4080 it is the closest thing that you can get to local and cloud gaming nothing beats local yet but it's the closest and works great for me here and especially for games like call of duty that you can't play at all or something like dragon's dogma if you want to play it above like 12 fps geforce now is a great way to do that you wouldn't even necessarily have to have the ultimate tier to get a decent experience but the game is tough to run here but works great on geforce now and it's just another way i'm able to play it here but yeah guys that's the official setup from the team over there for geforce now on the steam deck hopefully it helped you out thanks a lot for coming to check out the video as always and i'll see you guys in the next one